So, the last two nights I've been using this horrible drug that just, it's the gateway drug that ruins people's lives. This stuff right here. This little bud right here will last me eight, maybe, that shit right there could last me about a week and a half at night time. The shit in the end, of, I mean, literally, that's about two weeks worth of weed for me, maybe more if I used it every night. I need one hit. I'll tell you, I go to bed and I stay in fucking bed, okay? I get up in the middle of the night, go to the bathroom, I go right back to bed. I uh, usually, you know, pry from too much caffeine and other bullshit, but uh, I cut my caffeine and take back by 3 o'clock, but, um, you know, I just... I could take a Benadryl or a melatonin, and sometimes I sleep, sometimes I don't. But I'll tell you, one or two hits of that, 7 o'clock at night, we fuck both of us. Zoof, she sleeps all the way through the night. I like to get up and, um, you know, eat and take a look outside and see what um, all the law-abiding citizens are doing. So, uh, and then um, I don't mind eating some soup or something at night or some tuna fish and rice or something and go back to bed. But, uh, like this morning I got up at 3.30, like, phew, without any energy pills, any energy drinks, any coffee, you know. Um, I, I get up, I gave the cat her medicine, blah, 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 everything's done. It's 6 o'clock, everything's done until I got to go to work. And the dog's been out. I mean, I took the dog out for a fucking 35-minute walk. I'm a little tired right now. I'm gonna chill until I go to work. But um, anybody that knows me and outside outside of here would tell you um, I'm just not a weed person. You know what I mean? I stopped smoking when I was 21, 22 years old. And then all of a sudden one day I started again and it wasn't the same weed anymore. And uh, I'll just tell you, with the pain I have, you know, it, uh, it definitely, um, it definitely just at night puts me to sleep, you know? It's like, uh, you know, um, like a bad TV show, I guess. But I go to sleep and I stay asleep. And that's one of the fucking things that I need. Like, you know, um, as far as for recovery, you know, your muscles need to fucking, you need that deep fucking sleep for the growth hormone and everything else to get released. And I'll tell you, when I sleep, I feel, I feel great. You know what I mean? Yeah, I'm sore and stuff a little bit, but... I'll tell you, it doesn't take much for me. We laugh about it all. We laugh about it all the time. I'll just take one or two hits, you know, kind of, you know, whatever. I'm just not a per. I mean, don't get me wrong. I have no problem with whatever people do. I don't mind smoking it once in a while during the day if I'm in a lot of pain, you know, or if I'm bored, you know what I mean? But uh, it's not my go-to thing, you know what I mean? I really, I can't tell you how many times people have offered me stuff and I'm like, ah, I'm good. Uh, I'm good, work, whatever, and nah, I'm good, I'm good, I, I don't want to do that right now, you know what I mean, um, but uh, I've used it before the gym, I prefer sativa, and for people out there struggling with insomnia, like people that are kind of think weed is really, you know, they, they kind of generalize weed with heroin and cocaine and it's going to ruin your life and destroy your family, it's not, okay, um, the government just robbed us of a good night's sleep for the past fucking since they've been a government, okay, the government isn't your friend. Kratom isn't going to kill you. You're not going to get fucking addicted to it and rob a pharmacy or a head shop. You know what I mean? You ever hear of anybody robbing head shops? Come on.